people here. Uh, my name is Darren Murphy. I'm from the Hall School in North London. It's a prep school, and uh, we use Google Apps. And we're just going to talk about what I've learned as a teacher using Google Apps at our school. So I'm not an expert. Uh, a lot of uh, experts have been up here today. So uh, I'm just a classroom teacher that uses Google Apps on a regular basis. So I wanted to share some of our experiences with you and um, mistakes we've made, things we've learned along the way, and how it helps our students learn. Can I just see uh, how many teachers are out there at this stage of the day? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, good. Well, that's what. Well, this is really for um, the teachers in the, in the group, not so much for um, technicians and uh, experts. If you want an expert, there's a lot of uh, young hipster types walking around in the white t-shirts that can uh, answer your technical questions and those kind of things. So um, just I'll run through these things quickly today, talking about uh, what we've been doing with our VLA. We use Moodle, which is sort of a well-known um, open source learning platform that you may have heard of. Uh, Generally, as a teacher, I sort of subscribe to sort of free and, and open source things that are available to the most students out there. So it's about equity, about allowing students to access these resources and keeping costs down, and Moodle is one way to keep costs down. I'll talk about single sign-on, which is allowing Google Apps and Moodle to sign on together and talk to each other very easily. That's Google Apps integration. A bit about e-portfolios and how we're using our e-portfolios e in our school. And the research tool that you may, have know, may know about. Has anyone heard of the research tool in um, Google, Google Create, Google um, Documents? That's a great tool. And social networking VLEs, and then a bit of a Q&A &A if there's any questions. So I've seen a few presentations here today. And um, a lot of the words that have been keep coming up is transformational. How do we make learning transformational? Well, this is one of the big things I've noticed about using Google Apps and the collaborative tools with Google Apps, it does make learning transformational in that the collaboration that goes in the classroom really enhances the students' learning. They're supporting each other. They're working together in groups. Change that. No, that's right. This is wrong. Put that there. How about this? And as a teacher, that's very fulfilling and rewarding to see that going on in your classroom. And things like Google, Google Docs, Google Presentations allow these things to happen very, very easily. So that is what I believe makes uh, learning transformational in our classroom. And what you study. I noticed walking around here today, there's a lot of uh, development of um, apps and programs for iPads and things that are, involve touch and click and get the answer right and click the next one and touch and click. And Whereas as a teacher, you, we are not so much about the point and click and get to the next answer. We're, we're trying to make our young minds develop, think, so we want to use the tools like Google Apps that allow students to collaborate. We want to pose questions that make minds think and use these tools to sort of push forward our students' thinking. So the question is at our school, how do we create a digital school? How do we change what we've got at our school, which is a fairly paper-based school where everything's written down on, in workbooks, handed in, marked, returned, that process is very, very much paper-based. And many of your schools may be in that place as well or be uh, transferring from that position. So how do we make that transfer? So some of these tools do allow for that. This is our, our Moodle VLE. So we kind of set it up as a, um, to look like an iPad with apps and those kind of things. And uh, over here you see Google Apps which is on, when you sign in at the top here using single sign-on, it recognizes your account and automatically signs you into your Google Apps and mail and documents. So that allows a student not to have to remember multiple passwords. And as a teacher in a classroom, what you don't want is having lots and lots of different pass passwords to, for the students to remember to get into each, everything every, each time. So single sign-on, where our Moodle talks to our what's called Active Directory network, which is our, how details of students are recorded on our network, talks to Google Apps, and they all sign on simultaneously. So it's a very quick, very smooth, and very effective way to access the online tools of Moodle, access Google Apps, Google Presentations, Google Spreadsheets, and those kind of things. As a teacher, I've used a lot of VLEs. I've used a lot of um, 
online tools that have become available to us. And I, I think uh, single sign-on is a great way to make our lives much easier. So if you can get single sign-on working in your school, um, get Google Apps set up in your school, it'll make things a lot easier. Just getting students to remember one password, use that to access those resources. So that's uh, single sign-on. As I said, log on to the top, automatically logs into Google Apps, Google uh, Presentations, Google Docs. You also get a Google Drive these days, which is a, which is a pretty new feature. Um, at my school, I've got the students to set up curriculum areas in their Google Drive, which allows them to save work to a particular curriculum area. Uh, so that's the organizational skill to sort of set up at the start. So if you want to create a digital school, if you want to move to a school that's a more digitally based school, uh, you're trying to move away from the reams of paper that we use every day in the school, move away from the workbooks, move away from everything with pen and paper, uh, possibly setting up something like this where there's curriculum areas inside each student's drive where they can start saving work. Inside each of these uh, curriculum areas, you could have a year or a term. So subcategories inside each of these curriculum areas. And then allowing teachers to access these online uh, folders where they can share and see the students' work, see their progression, see their development, mark work through their Google Drive uh, is, is going some degree to creating a digital school, transforming the way you do things at your school. It also, it can be used as an online portfolio of the students' work. Over the years, as the students progress, parent-teacher meetings, you can say, come here, turn around the laptop, have a look at this. This is your student's work uh, this year, last year, the year before. Uh, this is how, it's, how he's progressed, how she's progressed, has developed. Uh, you can show that progression over a period of time using sharing within Google Apps, using um, the creation of folders or some similar system. So this was just an example that we had. Uh, I'm sure there's lots of other ideas out there on ways to do things. So that was just uh, one way we decided to go down the path. Another tool we use is Google Sites, uh, which is a very, very um, easy web page creation platform, sort of like a wiki where they can create a website, share it with a teacher, share it with other students. So it's a very, very easy uh, web page creation platform. What I did as a teacher, I created a, a basic template And I shared that with uh, students in my school. So I shared the template that I created in Google Sites. And that template uh, saves a lot of time by the students not having to create a template from, from scratch. So you share that, you create the template yourself, share it. There's actually templates out there on the, um, on the web. Uh, you can use those as well. Uh, that was just one I knocked up very quickly. So they can start filling in over the years uh, content that they've created. Uh, things they've made, things they've learned. They can share this with their parents. They can share this with, uh, with other classmates. So this is another step, sort of moving towards a digital school, becoming transformational, moving away from the papers, moving away from the, the written work, moving away from uh, textbooks, to, to creating a portfolio that students can be evaluated on by what they've done, what they've learned in school. Just quickly, um, the research tool. Uh, it'd be best if I um, show you this one. OK, this is my uh, Google Drive. It's live online now. So I'm just going to go to create a, a document. So it starts off as an untitled document. You can see at the top there, often a good idea to start get the students to give the document a title at the start first thing. So as you can see, the research tool has already appeared on the side there, but I'll just close that. So to bring that research tool up, uh, you go to Tools Research, or you can just bring it up like that. So that was just Tools Research. Well, what's the advantage of that? Well, the advantage of that, and I've found uh, using Google Docs fairly extensively, is that you're not needing to tab through browser pages to find pictures to do research, you're doing it in the one document, okay? So if I type in here something like uh, Titanic, okay, so there 
I've got some uh, Wikipedia results. I've got some images. I've got, uh, I can scroll down. There's more content, various things, the movie database, all in the one page. Now, another advantage of this research tool that I, that I found a, a big plus is you can just drag uh, the image directly across to the page and it loads up on the page and it's embedded in a, in a shareable document straight away with the teacher, with classmates. Um, so that not needing the, needing the ability to, to tab from browser to page to browser or tab to tab. So you, inside the actual document, drag an image across, bang, it's in there. It takes with it the metadata. Um, very, very fast, very, very powerful. And I, I tell you, I, I watch my lessons regularly. Uh, this has improved the speed and the, and the productivity of our students and also their effectiveness in their learning. So this research tool is very, very powerful. And, and as a teacher, what you want to see is learning. What you want to see is um, students getting on with the task, uh, helping each other, sharing. And tools like this uh, really are a big plus because it allows them to focus on the task at hand, which is the topic you're doing in class, rather than focusing on the technology and working a way around um, cutting and pasting from the web and from browsers and those kind of things. So uh, research tool in Google Apps, Google, Google Documents is really, really handy in the classroom. OK. OK, so this was just another um, collaborative activity we did. We're doing a class uh, presentation on on journeys in year six, and uh, students were, uh, we shared this document among the entire class, and we were all doing single pages, each putting in pictures, putting in comments, putting in quotations for an assembly we're doing uh, to the school. So it's just a very quick way to share and work together as a class and create a, a very uh, powerful sort of document. So uh, another tool, the advantage of using Google Apps uh, in the classroom is this sharing collaboration that makes uh, working so easy. Trying to do that in a PowerPoint and then send it to somebody and then get them to edit it and then sending it back would be uh, absolutely impossible if not very, very difficult. Edmodo's another choice of Schoology is another VLE out there. There's, there's a lot out there. We like Moodle. But if, if, you, if you don't have a VLE now, you could even just use uh, Google Sites as your own VLE, set that up as a single uh, start off launch page from there. It's, it's fantastic, these tools are free. Google Sites, Google Apps, all free uh, out there for you to use. Doesn't cost anything at all. So uh, if you haven't got a VLE, if you're starting off and you want something powerful, you want something that's free, uh, Google, Google Sites is a good place to start. Things along the line, Google Communities, these are very interesting sort of developments as well. coming along into the future, which allows you to sort of create communities and classes. Quick, quickly about um, equipment. Google Apps works on Chromebooks, iPads, laptops. A Chromebook uh, you can buy from Google for about 210 pounds. Uh, you can buy sets of them. They, they can be managed through your uh, Google Apps uh, interface. And uh, that's a very quick way to sort of get in started in the classroom with tools like Google Apps. Set of Chromebooks. Very, very fast. You're not worrying about hooking onto, hooking onto networks and loading profiles and downloading profiles. Chromebooks is a very, very quick way to get into, into, uh, into using tools online. That's what teachers want. Teachers want the ability to get equipment, sit down, get working, moving, getting the job done as fast as possible, efficiently as possible, not worrying about uh, network connections, not saving my work. Where's my work? I've lost my work. We want these things to go away. We just want to get on with the, get on with the learning. BYOD is becoming very popular, lower prices, broader options. So this is another way to move to a digital school. Google Apps, BYOD, simple, quick ways to sort of move to a, a more digital, digitally based school. So our sort of approach was Google Apps, Moodle VLE, single sign-on, which is very, very important, we found, using mobile devices, implementing an e-portfolio program, uh, moving towards a digital classroom. And this is creating a transformational learning at our school. So uh, that's about it. Uh, any questions? <laughs> yes, one over here. I just wonder, with, with the research tool, how do you avoid the copy-paste uh, problem? 
No. <laughs> well, that's uh, something you'd... We'd be part of a digital sort of e-learning program is that you sort of educate the students that so we're not going to copy and paste. And if you're going to get a picture from the internet, you're going to have to put in the data there as well. So it's part of the entire program of learning about you know, online digital citizenships, really. So that's sort of a school-wide school approach that you'd have to adopt. Can you say us approximately uh, how many uh, teachers are involved in your school? Uh, is it, our school, it's, um, we all use the, the, the Moodle VLE. To, to lesser degrees, we use uh, Google Apps. Uh, some teachers are very, very keen on it. Some teachers are um, more set in their ways. So, but the ones that do use it are uh, finding it very, very powerful. Okay. Any more questions? Okay, thanks for coming along. Go home and uh, have a rest. Mm -hmm.